What's up everybody? It's your man James Jackson and today we got something special. Today I want to show you guys how to work the new uh, hybrid log gamma that is in the GH5 from the firmware 2.0. Um, there's a lot of people shooting out with the HLG but this is all new technology, a new wave of HDR that you know, we're all still learning and working through, but um, there is sort of a procedure you sort of have to go through in order to do hybrid log gamma uh, HDR recording with the GH5. Um, so today I'm gonna show you how to do it during the production side, the shooting side, and then um, on another video, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna work it on the um, post-production side. Uh, but before we get into the actual recording, I just have to say, you know, get a few things that are sort of confusing about HLG and HDR uh, content. First, let's be clear. Um, this does not, uh, HLG having hyperlog gamma does not mean your camera can now shoot like 17 stops at dynamic range. That's not what hyperlog gamma is. What basically it is, is how your HDR monitor is going to be able to view the images that is processed through the Rec 2020, Rec 2021 um, uh, codec that you put into the camera. It does not extend the dynamic range of the actual camera itself. All it does is just allows you to view on an HDR monitor um, with a lot more uh, color details, a lot more depth. So, wanted to just clear that up real quick. Um, the other th thing is um, uh, that we have to, I just want to be clear is that, you know, if you're going to start doing HDR content, you have to have, to properly shoot HDR content, you must have some sort of external recorder or, or an external monitor that can shoot, um, that can monitor HDR. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard time exposing and hard time color balancing everything correctly. Now, luckily, if you're one of the people that actually got the Atomos Ninja Inferno, you're in luck because it does have HDR monitor. So we're gonna use the Atomos Ninja today as our viewing monitor while we are recording HLG to the GH5. So, like nothing too fancy today, but we're gonna just show you what we can do with it. So, let's get started. So, a few things that we need to go over first that you should set up when you're setting up for recording HDR. First things first is, in order to properly record HDR and record Hyperlog Gamma uh, correctly, you need to make sure that in the recording format, you are set to HEVC. Um, this is what records HDR video and records it to the Rec 2020 um, color space that allows you to um, get the metadata you will need um, in case you wanna do any sort of editing at all, which is a whole other beast of a workload. Um, Cause HLG is typically designed to go um, straight out of the camera and go straight uploading it directly to YouTube. Um, but you can edit it, but in order to sort of deal with it and make sure you don't all of a sudden convert it into a Rec 709, you have to make sure that it's in the MP4HEVC. Now, as you see here, is that you will need a TV or recorder that supports hybrid log gamma is required. And the reason why is because uh, the GH5 does not has a Rec 709 monitor. It does not have um, the HDR monitor. And that is when the Atomos Ninja uh, comes in. So make sure that's set. The other thing you wanna make sure is you are recording in, now when it does, now when you do that, you switch the codec to the MP4 uh, HEVC, it automatically puts it in Hyperlog Gamma. So now we're set up in the Atomos Ninja right now. What you first want to do is to make sure that um, you go to the monitor mode and you want to make sure it's set to Atom HDR. And then the next thing you want to make sure is it's set to Rec 2100. And then you want to set it to the HLG uh, as gamma and then the output, uh, the gamut, you want to set it to BT2020. So everything is pop. Now, as you can see here, this is, you can sort of adjust the dynamic range, how you want to see it. But this is how I typically like to go with like two stops over that, the 400% Rec 709 or uh, 
SDR of over two stops, it sort of allows the monitor to um, get the most range that you could go with it. So in that situation, we want to make sure that we're exposed, properly exposed. We'll record here. And I also like to just record backup. So as you can see now, as we move here, we're recording. This is what you're seeing on the LUT, but this is what you're seeing on the Atomos HDR monitor to sort of understand the exposure that you can get. Um, this is a great, but this is pretty much it. This is pretty much how, uh, I know it's a lot to take in, but um, it's a great, nice little setup. Uh, I'll get, get a lot more contents for you guys to show, but Overall, super excited about this new, um, overall super excited about the HLG uh, codec. Uh, feel like there's a lot of, um, especially as we get more into like, as broadcast uh, technology expands, this is sort of a great opportunity for the GH5 to sort of, again, show its broadcast capabilities with the HDR codec. Um, even though what you're seeing here looks extremely darn insane on the lit, you can see on the HDR monitor that uh, you're still getting quite a bit of dynamic range and you've still got a lot of wiggle room to bring that dynamic range up. Awesome. So what I'm going to show to you, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, just make sure you're using the proper codec in the GH5, the HEVC, make sure you're in HLG and then make sure you are connected to a monitor so you can see how it's supposed to be exposed on the, um, when you deliver the content. But overall, this is it. Uh, again, let me know what you guys think of this. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, if there's have any more questions regarding the uh, HLG, Hyperlog Gamma, and HDR content, feel free to leave a comment in this video. Uh, take care.